Hello, good evening, and welcome back to the second episode in our Orange Islands Let's Play. Um, you're with me, Bugcatcher Connor, and today uh, we're going to carry on our adventure and see where we left off um, last time. So last time we uh, went and got the uh, GS ball from Professor Ivy, and we um, went parachuting, and we on a strange island. Uh, Misty ran off and. Well, that's pretty much it. We don't know what's going on at this point. So, let's venture on through the forest and let's see what we find, what, what we come across. Uh, right. What are we doing? Caterpie. I've I got loads of caterpies. Don't need any more of that. I've forgotten what I caught last time. So, I've got a pigeon and a Paris. Oh, Paris is holding something. I didn't notice that last time. What's he holding? A tiny mushroom. Okay. Bug grass type. Pidgey normal flying. Uh, effect spore. Leave spores on contact. Okay. So we now scratch and stun spore. Pidgey now is tackle and sand attack. And you can see the, the little star there on his, uh, on his, on his picture. So, uh, you yeah, know, that does confirm that uh, the alternate coloured Pokemon in Valencia Park are indeed shinies. Oh, we've got a cutscene. It's some old people, by the looks of it. Why, uh, hello there. Deserted island? You're talking like the girl we just ran into. Of course this is not a deserted island. This is the Pokemon Park on Tangelo Island. If you walk a small distance west of here, you'll be in touristy Tangelo Island. Well, it was nice meeting you. We're going back to the city. Fair enough. What about this rock? Is there anything there? No. What about this bush? No. What about this tree stump? No. There's nothing anywhere, except for that Pokeball over there. It's a Weedle. I'm not too interested in Weedles. Give me something interesting. Give me a Pinsir. Give me a Scyther. Give me a Vile Plume, or a Victory Bell, or something... something mad. That's a point. I've got a Leaf Stone, haven't I? I a, yeah, I've got a leaf stone. So, if I do come across, say, uh, what, uh, Gloom, that's the one I was thinking of, or a Weeping Bell, I could evolve them, and I could have a fully evolved Pokemon. Welcome to the Pokemon Park. But we're leaving. You can't welcome me if I'm leaving. Alright, what's, uh, what's, what's down here? Okay, different style Pokemon sends out, I like that. Although it's the same inside, I can't help but feel a little bit cheated. I don't know if I need it to heal up, but I'll do it anyway. Alright then, what's, uh, what's, what have you got to say? I came here to heal my star, me. If I want to challenge the Orange League, I need healthy Pokemon. Okay. What about this guy, browsing the books? I'm reading about the Orange Crew. It's a group of gym leaders on the Orange Islands. They call their Pokemon League the Orange League. Okay. So yeah, in the in the anime, Ash uh, goes to the Orange Islands and finds out that they have their own little sort of mini league, and uh, decides to challenge them. What's going on over there, Misty? Hey, what do you think you're doing to that Lapras? That was my best Misty impression. I apologise. They're hurting that Lapras, Ash. Oh, I'll, I'm gonna, I'm gonna stop the voice. Didn't you hear what she said? You're hurting that Lapras. What are they doing to it? We don't need any little brats like you telling us how to handle our Pokemon. I don't mind what you're competing in, but that's not the way to treat Pokemon. Punk. In that case, prepare to battle. So one thing I've noticed is in text scenes, Ash will actually respond. In the normal Pokemon series uh, games. You, your your primary character doesn't actually say anything. It's just other people talking to you. So that's nice. That's different. Yeah, get out of here, bird keeper. In the Pokemon universe, do you reckon parents of Pokemon trainers like feel disappointed in in their in their children's choice of trainer class. Like, no one wants their kid to grow up and be a, 
a garbage man in the same way you don't want your kid to go and become a bird keeper trainer do you um, Uh, quick attack. Yeah, in the same way, if you're if you're if you're in the youngster trainer class, if you're youngster Joey, are you are you always a youngster even when you're 45? Can you can you change career and train a class? That'd be interesting to know. Someone tell me down in the comments below. Oh, this ain't going well. Oh, it is. He's paralysed. Get in there with a quick attack. 300 big boys. Level 12. What other trainer classes are a bit, bit, bit crappy? The scientist class always came across as more nerdy to me rather than serious science. Tamer. He's got a whip and a giant lollipop. Nice. His parents must be proud. Alright, I've got a feeling that Pikachu ain't gonna survive against this B drill. Maybe I can paralyze it and get a free move in. If he comes at me with twin needle or pin missile, it, that might be the end. Ah, poison sting. My old foe. And of course I'm poisoned straight away. Okay. So I can take another chunk off him with Thundershock and then maybe Paris can scratch him to finish him off? We'll see. Paris is about to get a lot of XP. Go! Go, Paras! Or is it Paras? Oh, ooh, just a tiny bit left. Oh, and it's super effective. What is he, bug and grass? I thought it was bug poison. Apparently not. Level 9, everybody. Level 9. Not enough for level 10. But I got $400. And I defeated those punks. Yeah, get out of here. No wonder you won those battles. Your Pokemon are much healthier than theirs. Oh no, it's Tracy, isn't it? Yeah. This Lapras looks really hurt. We have to get it to Nurse Joy. So yeah, in, in the anime, Brock decides to uh, abandon the team, if you will. He decides to stay with Professor Ivy because he uh, thinks he's got a decent chance of getting in, in a pants. And um, instead they're joined by Tracy, who is the most bland just awful character ever. For some reason he's got a Venonat and he, I don't know, he's just not very good. My name is Tracy. I'm a Pokemon watcher. Pokemon watchers travel the world to study all kinds of Pokemon to study their characteristics and abilities. Uh, let's check outside. Something you can do. Lapras is in the basin behind the Pokemon Center. Okay, okay. I could do with healing up actually while I'm here. Yeah. Let's do that. Yes. Heal us up. Heal us up. I'm, I'm stuck. <laughs> Alright. So there it is. Hmm, Lapras, what's going on in your mind? How can I reach you? Oh, oh, Team Rocket, nice. Prepare for trouble, make it double. Well, you know how it goes. Team Rocket, blast off. Surrender now, prepare to fight. Meowth. We're just here to capture that Lapras. We think our boss will be very pleased with it. Well, if you won't let us capture it, we have to get it by force. Okay, nice. So, some more battles. Oh, look at look look at that look at that uh, that sprite work. That's fantastic. Oh, okay. So we're going up against Arbok. Uh, what will work? Let's Thunder Wave. Let's paralyze him. That 
that was another thing that I really liked in the original Pokemon Yellow. Was the um, inclusion of Team Rocket rather than just generic Rocket Grunts. I thought that was pretty cool. And the artwork for, for Team Rocket here is he's pretty nice. I did, I, uh, I've got to say. Oh, we're both paralysed. What, what is this? Right. Let's just let's just cut to the quick. Ooh, that was nearly halfway. Right, another one of those. Ah, oh, paralysed. Right, and again, and again. Ooh, critical hit. Just what I needed. Although I'll be going up against Weezing next. I think. I assume it'll be Weezing. Yeah. Uh, oh god. Yeah, I'll stick with Pikachu. Apparently they've got four Pokemon. I would have thought it would be either two or three. So Arbok, Weezing and Meowth. Or just Arbok and Weezing. So what else do they have? Hmm. Interesting, interesting. I forgot they all have paralysis healing berries. This isn't fair. Oh, the, the love of... Oh, now he's paralysed. Right, okay. Paris, it's on you. You can do it. Scratch. Yeah, look at all that... Uh, all that damage. Now that's how you do damage, Paris. Take lesson. Take take note even. You can do it, Pidgey. Rip his face off. I don't think this is gonna end well. Let's just let's just spam sand attack. Let's just let's get his accuracy so far down. next to no damage. He, he, he's eventually gonna hit me. And it ain't gonna it ain't gonna be pretty. If I can get a crit a couple of crits, maybe Oh it ain't I dunno. Oh stay with me guys. This is it's looking possible. It's looking possible. Oh god, we're, we're getting there. Jesus Christ, this thing's still paralysed. Oh, one more. What? Oh, you... Don't, don't tease me. Oh, yes! <laughs> I can't believe that. that. That was actually... Unbelievable. Oh, straight to level 8. Can I get a 9? Oh, and level 9? Oh my god. Okay. And he learned Gust. I bet you that does a bit more damage. Oh, nearly level 10. Licky Tongue. Ah, of course, yes. Jesse gets a Licky Tongue at some point. I can't remember when. And I can't remember what, what James has, because James also gets another Pokemon in... Like, they have, like, companion Pokemon. Oh, not Supersonic. Hmm. Oh, let's go in there. Maybe we can get lucky again. Oh, it's doing next to nothing. And I've been wrapped. Oh, God, I feel like a tortilla. No. This is, this is where it ends, people. Yep, I'm dead. But wasn't that fun? I wonder whether we need to beat Team Rocket to advance. I assume we do. I, I assume 
they're going to stay there until we beat them. We didn't do too badly, considering that plucky PG. He managed to... Uh, he managed to do them up. Alright, okay. Should we... Should we grind up? Should we... Ah, yeah, yeah I, I'm guessing I'll trigger the, the event again if I go and sit by Lapras. Let's explore this little place first, because... We're 15 minutes in and we haven't we haven't actually seen anything. We've just had some scripted battles. Uh, yep, there's a beach, nothing interesting there. What's in these houses? Tangelo Island, Pearl in the West. Okay. So we've got some people. My dad works as a guide for the elderly in the Pokemon Park. Being a guide for the elderly is big business here. Okay, so this is some sort of resort that old people go to. This is like the equivalent of like somewhere in Spain the old people retire to by the looks of it every year a herd of Lapras swim by Tangelo Island okay Tangelo Island is an urbanized city compared to Micken Island north of here okay the life here is great excellent I'm sure that NPC was worth programming in Why are you looking so disapprovingly? Can't a man just cook at home? We live in an emancipated world, you know. Okay. Fair enough. I'm not going to make any politically charged comments following that. Do we need any any stuff? Do we need potions? Do we need Pokeballs? How many have we got? Three. Yeah, let's get some more of those. 1776. That was a, that was a good year, that was. If you were an American, that is. Do we want potions? We'll probably... Yeah, we'll get another potion. I should probably take that. Does, that, does Tiny Mushroom give Paris any buffs in-game? I don't think it does. I think you can just sell it. And it's worth a token amount. A small and rare mushroom is quite popular among certain people. Yeah. I don't think it, it does anything in battle. So I'll, I'll sell that. 250, yep, there we go. So, what else we got on the island? I think there's a little bit over here. Tangelo Island can be boring sometimes. So many old people come here in their holidays. What does it say? Trainer tips, all Pokemon that appear in battle, however briefly, earn XP points. Useful to know, because this is my first time playing any of these games. Okay, so I think we've spoken to everybody, so yeah, let's... Go ahead and do Team Rocket. I've got a good feeling this time. So we know that paralysing uh, the Pokemon off the bat is not going to work. So we need to paralyse them and then paralyse them again. Making their job very difficult. So that's, the ma that's, the main th that's the main thing we can get from Pikachu and Paris. Pidgey... Yeah, doesn't really have... Much, of, much in the way of a good attack. It, it, it's going to have to come from Pikachu. So, I'm thinking we'll just we'll just get straight in there. Um, 20 point tail whipping. I oh know. I think yeah, it's going to be Thundershock rather than Quick Attack. That's going to be our main. Yeah, at least we're doing half half health now. Right, so we can get our out of the way pretty quickly. Rather than messing around with uh, with paralysing, I just, should have just gone straight in for the attack. We're using the same. Yeah, we got him halfway. That's cool. That's cool. Boing. Level 14. Nice. Okay. Uh, Licky Tongue. Will we change Pokemon? Nope. We're going to stick with what we got. We'll just uh, we'll forge ahead with Pikachu. We've got the other two guys as backup. 
because you never know. We might get lucky like we did last time. Okay, quick attack does literally nothing. Oh no, now we're paralysed. Right, okay. It's fine, it's fine. Right. Come on. Do it, do it, do it, do it, do it. Yeah, we did it. Right, okay, last one. Victory Bell. Okay, we'll change Pokemon. Uh, yes, actually, I'm thinking Pidgey will be the best for this because Gust is super effective. Right, okay. Let's do a quick sand. Ah, oh, you. And we're asleep. The bane of my life. Oh, I'm not having that. Come on. Wake up. Wake up, wake up, wake up. Oh, no. Come on. Wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up. No, don't kill me now. Ooh. D wake up, you... Oh, come on. I'm going to have to heal up, aren't I? I'd usually try to make a, not make it a habit of healing during playthroughs because it, I don't know, it just seems a bit, uh, not cheating necessarily, but it's a bit meh. Although it does annoy me when the, when the gym leaders use a hyper potion at the last minute, so. Right. I'm going to have to potion again if this guy puts me to sleep I swear to god right okay oh, he's going for the wrap right okay that, that's a that's a decent chunk of damage that's what almost a third a couple more of those We can do it, I believe. Oh, for the love of Christ. I hate sleep moves. I hate them. I hate them. Any status move, I just... Ugh. This ain't, this ain't going to end well, is it? I've got to... Oh, that's right. Because he's wrapped, I can't swap out the... the and I can't heal him anymore. So he's gonna have to, yeah, he's gonna have to be. Oh, now he wakes up. Critical, critical, critical. No, not enough. And I was freed from rap. Right, okay. Okay, do I. Am I faster than Victory Bell? I don't think I am. Oh, uh, he missed! He missed. Oh, that is some insane luck right there. Okay, level 10 and 11. That was, I, I actually can't believe that. I, I don't know the last time I was that lucky in a battle. Would you like to take Lapras with you? Uh, yeah, free Pokemon. Who wouldn't? Do you want to give a nickname to this Lapras? Uh, does Ash's Lapras have a nickname? I don't think it does. So I'll stay true to the originals. Yeah, look at that. And it knows Surf. Oh, yes. Shell Armor blocks critical hits. Nice. Now it's Water Gun, Mist, Sing, and Surf. Let's uh, pop that there. Nice. Okay, so our team's coming together. That's, that's pretty handy. So, yeah, we, uh, we defeated Team Rocket. No problem there. On the subject of free Pokemon, um, it's been brought to my attention 
and I, I had heard this beforehand, um, but in the first episode I decided not to. Um, you can actually go ahead and take Ash's Pokemon from Oak's lab. When you first start the game and you're given Pikachu, um, if you go in the back garden, you can go ahead and collect Muk and Charizard and Squirtle and Bulbasaur and have a full team when you start off. So that can be a, a big boon to make the game a lot easier so you're able to just sort of play through the story um, without really worrying too much, I would imagine. Um, so, yeah. Um, just thought I'd, I'd put that in there. I'll, I'll cut it here. Um, so we've... Uh, Advance the story a little bit. We've met Team Rocket and forced them to blast off once again into the sky. And we've got a, a new buddy with us. We've got Lapras. So, yeah, all around pretty uh, pretty good, I think. So, if um, yeah, if you want to let me know what you think of the this new series, um, you know, pop your thoughts down in the comments below. Um, you know, don't forget to like and subscribe and all that other nonsense. And we will see you on the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye.